Hello everyone, I'm Kang Yufan from the University of Tokyo and CNRS AIST. Our topic is Direct 3D Model Based Object Tracking with Event Camera by Motion Interpolation. Our problem is to estimate six dimensions of freedom pose between event camera and object. Traditional frame camera have severe motion blur problem in fast motion. That's why we use event camera, a novel sensor that produces asynchronous events with low latency, high temporal resolution, and dynamic range. Event camera triggers a new event EK at time TK when change of logarithmic brightness I reaching contrast sensitivity C is detected at pixel UK, VK. Here, the polarity PK denotes whether the brightness increases or decreases. There are three main challenges in this problem. First, when accumulating events in one frame, accumulation blur is unavoidable. Second, camera field of view is not filled with information, making the tracking harder. Third, many events are also triggered by the background, which is unpredictable. This also makes the polarity unreliable. We propose the first event-based object tracker, brightness increment alignment with motion interpolation. We generate desired brightness increment image from events in the region of interest. And from the 3D model and previous post P, we render the predicted brightness increment image with motion interpolation. Finally, we align two images and estimate the new pose with level micro method. When these two brightness increment images are the same, we get the correct pose. In event frame generation, we use absolute brightness increment to make the method robust to different backgrounds. We also load new events in the region of interest, which is the smallest bounding box containing the object. A small padding is also added to increase robustness. When predicting brightness increments from 3D model, we calculate the increments from the image gradient, sensitivity matrix, and the six dimension of freedom velocity. To produce similar accumulation blur as the desired image, we propose motion interpolation. When a point moves from here to here in 3D space, the projection on image plane also has a 2D trajectory. Instead of calculating the increments only at the final pixel UM plus 1, we interpolate the motion by predicting the increments at a series of intermediate pixels on the 2D trajectory. The intermediate pixel number is determined by the trajectory length. We evaluate our method on two datasets. First is the room dataset. There are three trajectories of a moving camera inside a room. Second is our new dataset, consisted of 29 trajectories of five different objects. We include both pinhole lens and fisheye lens. We also use the Prophecy 3.1 camera. Here is the result on room dataset. The grayscale image is rendered from estimated poses and the 3D model. Blue and red points are positive and negative events, respectively. Compared with the state-of-the-art method, our method shows much better accuracy as well as robustness on all the trajectories. And on our new dataset, the method is able to track different objects, no matter how fast the motion is. On this trajectory, the camera motion is extremely fast. Our method is still able to track the object accurately. The tracking frequency 
reached 750 hertz. We also compared using and not using motion interpolation method. The quantitative results show motion interpolation gives better accuracy, especially on the fast trajectories of 9 and 10. The pulse variations show small differences between estimated posts and the ground truths. Although the translation parameters are sometimes shaky, To conclude, we introduced the first six dimension of freedom object tracker using only events and 3D models as input. We propose motion interpolation method to solve the accumulation blur problem. We also use absolute events in the region of interest to increase robustness. We evaluate our method on public and new datasets. It shows high accuracy and robustness in fast motion against complicated background. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the authors.